so now what I've got is only Elementor and Elementor Pro plugins installed okay and then when I search for the table element over here you will see that there is no table element for either Elementor or even after adding the Elementor Pro plugin okay table of contents is not the data table it just pulls in the the titles from the blog post so it's not the same so only having Elementor and Elementor Pro you cannot add a data table okay over here so in order to add the data table I installed the plugin called essential add-ons for Elementor okay now I'm going to activate this if I go over here data table advanced data table I now if I search for the element table you see there's a data table I'm going to use the data table well for the advanced data table you need other plugins such as table press okay but this for this I'm going to use the data table I want to mention that this essential elementor for add-on for elementor is a free plugin okay but for more even more features you can go for their pro version okay but for this I think the free version is good enough okay now let's try to rebuild some of the parts from this table okay for example let's see what header it got it got one two three four five six seven eight eight headers we have got only four over here so let's duplicate it and turn it into eight five six seven eight okay now let's just put in the details over here copy name fuel fuel tank capacity dimensions weight maximum BTU heating range and lastly price okay now let's come to the contents it got you see how many columns it got one two three four five six seven eight okay contents so before the columns you need to add this to do separate each row you need to firstly you need to add this row content okay then we need eight columns over here but we only got four that's why there is a white blank space over here so let's duplicate it to turn these columns into eight columns one two three four five six two more seven and eight okay now all you need to do is fill in this with our content over here copy paste okay see fills in copy second column over here cell text propane tank capacity under
dimensions weight 9 pounds maximum BTU price okay so this is one row so I'll add another row to show it to you I think af after that it will be clear to you okay so we are going to start another row to start another row all you need to do is add an item and make the type over here to row okay then what you need to do then you need to add columns over here then change the item to column okay column then duplicate it eight times one two three eight one two three four five six seven eight see it just fills in okay now all you need to do is fill it it right just like the one i filled in above okay so this is the one copy this text over here Okay, it's updating. Sometimes it takes time. Okay, now let's keep adding. Copy this one. And finally this one over here okay great great then what you can do you can match it with the original website look over here so now you got it okay now for the for the third heading for the heading the third row you need to follow the same method add an item should be row then uh, keep on adding the columns over here okay for each new row you need to add the row item then followed by column items okay for example over here row content then followed by columns over here which should match the number of header over here header okay then to match this with the original website i can i can easily go to style header style 
background color I can change this ok change this and change the text color to dark and then I can also change the typography I have some typography over here I can change this to this ok now it looks better and then for the content style I can do the same I can change the odd row color row background color to sorry even cell background color I want to change the row background color to white odd row no I want to change this to light gray ok and then for the even cells I want to change the background color to white ok. So, this is the even cell ok con kind of confused ok let us do this again white just keep one of them white and another of one of them gray, but I would like to change this one to the top one to white and the bottom one to light gray ok. So, when you continue adding rows it will automatically alternate the white and light gray ones ok. And then I want to change the typography of the cell to um, body, but I want to change the font size over here. I do not want this much big font size looks better little bit decreased ok. Now, it looks much better should I decrease it more 12 no it is a bit too small people can read it this looks nice this looks quite decent over here ok ok. Then let us check the mobile responsiveness tablet it it looks ok I guess, but the mobile one is the important one on mobile what they do is that they add a horizontal scroll bar for the table ok. So, people can scroll to view the other items over here ok and let us see what other options you got. You can also add table sorting, but for that you need the pro version of uh, essential items for Elementor, but for this kind of task it is good enough. So, I hope you have found this video useful and if you did then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel.